second. A full day trip to Los Angeles? With all the families? Wow. We would love to go there to support Andrew on his first television debut. Guys, I just overheard my mom talking on the phone. She was talking about a four-day vacation to Los Angeles for some television debut that Andrew is having. And I just got a great idea. We can go to Los Angeles and have a good time. And then we can use a nuclear bomb to destroy the city. That's a great idea, Viley. We will come by tomorrow to free you and the rest of the boys from your house arrest bracelets. Hello? Hi Andrew, it's me again. I wanted to let you know that tomorrow morning, a limo will pick you up at 7.30 a.m which will take you to the red carpet to the front studio where everyone will be cheering for you and then you will be signing photographs, posing for magazine covers, etc. You will then wait in the dressing room until someone calls you in. All right, thank you for the update. I'm going to finish getting ready now. Okay, have a safe flight. Alrighty, thank you. So guys, we need to come up with a plan on what to do in Los Angeles. It has to be a really fun one. Oh no, I think that's my mom coming upstairs. Quickly, get in the closet. Viley, you're not coming with us to Los Angeles because 1. You're on house arrest, and 2. We know that you are going to cause enough trouble. So your grandmother Jonah will be watching you until we return from vacation. I'm not going to put this conversation up for debate. She will be here in 4 minutes. Ugh, god freaking dang it. What the heck am I supposed to do now? No worries, Viley. I am a professional hacker, and I can hack into the house arrest bracelets to deactivate them along with the police department's computer that tracks down house arrest inmates. And I can make a potion that hypnotizes people and make them do everything we tell them to do. Alright, do that right away. Okay kids, make sure you all stay together and check right now to make sure your cell phones are completely charged. Check. And one more thing, does anyone have to use the bathroom? <coughs> Sophia? Are you alright? That cough is making me sick. I'm fine, it's probably <coughs> just a little cough. <coughs> mm, not good. It seems like you have a cold. It would probably be best if you stayed home, because under the airplane law, they can't take sick residents because your cold may be contagious. Oh no. If I stay here, then I will miss Andrew's show. Well, if Sophia can't go, then I can just call Howard and tell him that we have to stay home and take care of her and to reschedule the interview. No way Andrew, this is a big opportunity for you. We want you to go out and have fun. Me and your grandma will take good care of Sophia. Oh Sophia, I will really miss you while we are away. I hope you get better soon. I will check on you to make sure that you are okay. Thanks Juliana. Hopefully you all have a great time without me. We all hope you feel better soon Sophia. Well guys, we need to get going because our flight leaves in a half hour. You're probably right honey. Alright everybody, let's start heading to the airport now. Alright everybody. Is everybody ready for our Los Angeles adventure? Yes. That's the spirit. Alright everyone. Let's do this. Okay guys, so here is the plan. First, on the day we arrive, we will spend time together by doing some shopping and then performing at a local strip club. Then the next day when Andrew goes to live on the Howard show, after he goes in, we will start another night as a setup. 
Then, after two days, we will drop a nuclear bomb on the city. But first, we need to add a potion to my grandmother's glass of water and then steal a car to get to the airport. Uh-oh. She's here. Lou, hide under the coffee table. Jahari, get a glass of water ready. Hi, Lily. Um, hi, Grandma. So good to see one of my grandchildren again. I know, right? Please, come on in. Why don't you sit down and have a nice glass of water? Oh, why thank you, Billy. You're so sweet. Oh my god. I don't feel so good. Here, Grandma, why don't you sit down and get yourself comfortable? So, Grandma, can I go to LA with my friends? You can pretend that I am at home. Absolutely. Go on and have a great time. And don't worry about me. I will be fine. Okay. All right, guys. Let's get going. Our flight leaves soon. Hi. I would like nine tickets to Los Angeles, California, please. I'm so sorry, but the tickets to Los Angeles are... Oh wait, I forgot. Tickets aren't required. Go on and enjoy your flight. Take a seat in the waiting room. Okay guys, we need to find a spot where Andrew and his crew can't see us. I see a spot over there. Perfect. Man, I heard Sophia is going to be okay. I'm sure she will be seen. My grandparents are going to take really good care of her. This is very exciting. I wonder what the plane is going to look like. Well, just Sam's, it is a five-star plane. There will be lots of food that is going to be offered. In fact, way more than what they serve on a regular plane. We also have our own individual screens to show a movie. This is starting to sound like first class, but the entire plane. I hope this plane will be able to offer pedicures and manicures. I also heard that the plane is going to offer a VIP service station for us. Attention passengers, now boarding at gate number 5 is the Indian Airlines flight number 6235, bound for Los Angeles, California. Once again, now boarding at gate number 5 is the Indian Airlines flight number 6235, bound for Los Angeles, California. All aboard! Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nicole Carpenter, and I am the flight attendant, and this is Ana Abeda, my assistant and Spanish translator. Buenas tardes damas y caballeros, mi nombre es Elena Beita, y soy la asistente de su azafata, Nicole Carpenter, traductor al español. Before we begin our flight, let us go over a few safety features. Antes de comenzar nuestro vuelo, repasemos algunas características de seguridad. All the electronic devices must be turned off until we reach a safe altitude. Todos los dispositivos electrónicos deben estar apagados hasta que alcancemos una altitud segura. Your seatbelt must be fastened whenever the fastened seatbelt sign turns on. During takeoff and landing, be sure to fasten the seatbelt securely and low, and make sure it is not loose to protect your body from shocks in an emergency. Su cinturón de seguridad debe abrocharse siempre que se active el letrero del cinturón de seguridad durante el despegue y el aterrizaje. Asegúrese de abrocharse el cinturón de seguridad de manera segura y baja, y asegurarse de que no esté flojo para proteger su cuerpo de golpes en una emergencia. In the event of an emergency, oxygen masks will display from your overhead. To wear the mask, place it firmly over your nose and mouth, secure the elastic band behind your head, and breathe normally. En caso de una emergencia, se mostrarán máscaras de oxígeno desde su cabeza. Para usar la máscara, colóquela firmemente sobre su nariz y boca. Asegure la banda elástica detrás de su cabeza y respire normalmente. If there is any time where an evacuation may become necessary, emergency exits are at the front and rear of the plane. Si en algún momento puede ser necesaria una evacuación, las salidas de emergencia se encuentran en la parte delantera y trasera del avión. The airlines appreciate your attention, and we hope you have a safe flight. Thank you. John Derlins agradece su atención y esperamos que tenga un vuelo seguro. Gracias.
This air traffic control to flight 6235. You are ready for takeoff. Copy that. Look, lady, I don't know who any of you are, but I'm Chili Sherbert, a professional singer-songwriter and dancer. I may look like Viley Anderson, but I'm not, and I demand an apology. Well, Dan, sorry. I was just checking. Disculpas, muchachos. Por favor, disfruta tu vuelo. Yeah, you better be sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to begin our descent into Los Angeles, California. The time is 7 p.m. Pacific time. All right, since we've got our bags, let's head to our limo. It is waiting for us outside. It's so pretty at night. I have never seen anything like this before in my entire life. Wow, this place looks amazing. I know. Now let's wait for Howard and Sally to get here. Hey, look at that. It's only him. Oh my god, I can't believe he's actually here. Let's go say hi. Andrew Orso? Is that really you? Yes, that is me. Oh my gosh, hi. So excited to meet you. These are my friends over here. Hello. Hello. We are such big fans of you and Lucy. Can we get a group photo together, please? Sure, Mom. Can you take our picture, please? Of course, Andrew. Okay, guys, smile. One, two, three. Andrew, while I was meeting up with Howard and Sally, I was told to keep all of this a secret to surprise you. Oh, really? Wow. Yes, and you will be doing some brief activities before it starts. You will be getting a magazine photo shoot and a meet and greet, and you will also be picked up in a limousine heading to the studio where you will be walking the red carpet. Um, not trying to be rude, but I didn't understand a word he just said. Me neither, Michelle. What's he say? Guys, he said not to try this at home. I know this because I am half Korean, half Japanese. Minna daijoubu. So, otanoshiku kudasai. Minna de shokuji o tanoshimo. I'm guessing he wants us to enjoy our meals. Well, we can't keep our stomachs rumbling. Dig it, everybody. Oh man, if I eat another bite, I could throw chunks. Here's your credit card back. Thank you and come again soon. Thanks. 
Okay, you guys will have spare rooms with beds for four people. Here are your keys. Enjoy your stay. Alright, thank you.